DI stands for direct injection, and a DI box is a device that allows you to connect an instrument with a high impedance output, like an electric guitar or bass, to a mixer or other low impedance input. This is useful because it ensures that the signal is suitable for the input of the device that you're connecting to. There are two main types of DI boxes that I want to talk about in this video, active and passive. An active DI box has a built-in preamp that boosts the signal of the instrument before sending it to the input of the next device. This can be useful if the instrument's output is a particularly weak signal. Active DI boxes require a power source, such as a 9-volt battery, an external power supply, or phantom power provided by the microphone input that you're connecting to. Active DIs are generally more versatile and can handle a wider range of input levels and impedances. On the other hand, a passive DI box doesn't have a preamp or any active circuitry and simply converts the signal from high to low impedance without boosting the level. Because there's no active circuitry, a passive DI box doesn't require a power source. They use a passive transformer to convert the signal, which can be more transparent than an active DI but they may not be suitable for instruments with weak outputs or situations where extra gain is needed. So which one is right for you? Well, it ultimately depends on your situation. A general rule is to use a passive DI for active sources and an active DI for passive sources. I encourage you to experiment though. I've had great results with passive DIs, such as the Whirlwind Imp2 and Radial Pro DI, on all kinds of sources, both active sources and passive sources. One of my personal favorite DI boxes is this active RNDI, which has some more advanced features that I'll show you in the next video. I'll see you there.